Hey guys, so it's uh, lunch break again and it's monsoon season so I'm out smoking under my fucking Vietnam era poncho. Um, you know, the ones that are actually decent because they're rubberized. <clears throat> but uh, that's besides the point. Uh, there's people that have tried to figure out how to upgrade the brakes on deuces other than at the wheel ends, right? So, if you want to improve upon the old single circuit brake system, there's a couple of ways you can go about it. You can either find all the components to swap the dual circuit brake system from a late 87 to 89 Air Force contract truck onto your single circuit truck, or um, you can retrofit a sur uh, dual circuit system off of a different commercial truck of a 70s to 80s vintage on there which is something I've not done but one or two other people in the past have um, but my idea and, and I've been mulling this over for a long time eventually I may do it and, and listen just for um, legality purposes I'm not saying you should do this if you want to um, take a brake system quote unquote upgrade into your own hands for your own truck and put it on public roads that's on you however my idea for doing this would end up being a triple circuit brake system now if you are familiar with uh, the military trailers M105 trailers for example they have their own individual master cylinder on the axle uh, with a air can on it that actuates it so that when you get the service um, signal from the truck you also have an air tank on the trailer as well that service signal goes through a relay valve on the air tank of the trailer that opens and allows air pressure from that tank to go to the air can on the master cylinder and it works off of pressure not pressure release like a spring brake can it's opposite so when you put pressure to it it actuates the brakes okay so if you were to take one of those master cylinders and brake cans and put on each axle of your deuce and a half you've got a triple circuit brake system and to actuate that you can use the foot valve the tradle valve from a 939 series 5 ton and run airlines from that to uh, a relay valve. Now I, I haven't I haven't actually put together uh, a full design on this. It's just something that's been rolling around in my head for a while. Um, so I don't know if you could use one relay valve or if you'd need three. Um, but I think you just need one. So you run a relay valve from your secondary air tank um, and an airline from that split down the frame one airline down the frame to go to each uh, air can on each axle so you need you know one trunk line on the on the frame and three lines coming off of it so that way you're still gonna have a single air system and it it will work backwards of how your modern air brakes work modern air brakes work by when you apply the brakes it releases pressure from your spring brake cans and the spring is what actually actuates the brakes so this would be backwards of that you would be using pressure to actually push the cans on the brakes so um, that's my idea uh, it eliminates your having you know one brake line pop and you lose all your brakes that this way you can lose you know a, a wheel cylinder on one axle and still have functioning brakes on two axles um, or you can lose a brake line on two axles or a brake line on one axle and a wheel cylinder on another you know, none, none of that's ever going to happen at the same time really but this is such a pain in the ass but at least it's keeping me dry um, yeah that's it seems to me that that would be more safe and more redundant than even the dual circuit brake trucks with the dual circuit brake trucks you have one air pack that runs the front brakes and one air pack that runs all the rear brakes and you only have one master cylinder if you do it the way I'm thinking 
you have a whole master cylinder and everything for each axle so it's it's just that much more redundant and, and that's they said I've, I'm not I've not put together a full design on this like laid it out and this is what I need that's what I need but I know I need a treadle valve which I already have and three of those M105 master cylinder and air can things and of course you'd have to make a bracket and maybe make a line uh, a soft line going from the master cylinder itself to the uh, to the uh, lines on the axle um, depending on where you mount it and you probably want to mount them on the axles itself at least on the rears because they travel so much up and down uh, on the front you can probably get away with it mounting it on up near the frame or on the frame and running a soft line down to the axle itself um, but that's just it's all theory I haven't done it yet I probably eventually will do it um, but yeah that's that's it in a nutshell I think uh, that would make a lot of trucks safer and uh, more serviceable so food for thought catch you later guys